three, two, one. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Capoeiristas? It's Dr. Kashishi here. Uh, finally, 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 I am here to show you how I fix my beating balls. How I fix my beating balls. I have um, about three, let me see. Yeah, three cabasas that I gotta fix here. I have my wires, the three beating balls I gotta fix. So what I do, I usually, uh, I sandpaper them, I sandpaper the cabasas so I can get rid of, of scratches, uh, painting, painting scratches and all that. And um, give them a fresh and nice coat of varnish. Is it varnish or varnish? Is it with B or is it with B? You know what I mean. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, I have to do that today and have about one hour and a half to do it because as you see, I'm getting ready to teach my capoeira class today. I have, uh, I don't know, I don't know, let me know. Do you listen to capoeira music as you do everything? I, I usually do, I usually listen to capoeira music. I leave capoeira music in the background um, as I do stuff. Sometimes when I'm cooking, uh, either when I'm cooking or when I'm doing something, I put uh, either auto books, I do podcast, I do any documentary, I do anything informational, informational that is going to make my head grow, is going to make make my personal grow, um, and make my my lifestyle better, make my mind expand. So, as you can see, oh, the air conditioner, is, the, the heater just kicking. As you can see, uh, it's super beautiful today in Indiana. It's super, super nice. Um, it's super nice here in Indianapolis uh, today. And thankfully, thankfully, I'm super happy that, uh, because my bachisado, my very, very first bachisado is going to be this week. This weekend, uh, today is February 22nd, my mom's birthday. Um, so 26 and 27th 26 is going to be the open hada and 27th is going to be workshops in bachisal uh currently we're on a COVID, on a pandemic covid 19 uh and we got to take care of those kind of stuff too we're taking care of that uh in the event so the last last week yes let me see last week the week before and last week snowed a lot we got a bunch, a bunch of snow. The last, the last day he snowed, uh, we got about eight inches. That's a lot of snow, okay? And it was so, so cold, so, so cold. And I was afraid because the event is around the corner. And I was like, please, please, God, all the gods that are listening to me right now, please, 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 please stop snowing. Stop snowing because my event is around the corner. Stop it snowing because my event is next week. So, thankfully, 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 thank God, it stopped snowing last week. So this, today, is going to be the full nice week. If you're a part of the Midwest, you know that if it's 50 degrees, it's super nice. People are on flip flops. If you're not part of the Midwest, if you are like West Coast, at least here in the US, uh, 60 or 50 is probably freezing for you. But here in Indiana, 50 degrees is, is summer for us, baby. <laughs> so so uh, this weekend is going to be super, super nice. We're going to be 52. The last time I checked, it's going to be 52. So it's going to be super, super nice. Which makes me so happy. Make me so, so, so happy. And the, the, the day of the event is going to be really nice. And what I was afraid of, of this is because 
a lot of people, I'm gonna have a lot of people driving out of town to Indiana. I'm going to have people from Cleveland, I'm going to have people from Lexington, I'm going to have people from uh, Tennessee. I'm, ah, man. So I was, I was like, please, please, you big guy up there, please send me some sunshine, send me nice weather, send me good, good vibe because I want people to come enjoy enjoy the event and you know if you know you know what I'm talking about man the best thing is traveling especially you are driving when there's no snow on the ground so that being said I'm getting ready all these these instruments for this weekend so it's going to be super nice like I said before I'm going to fix these three meeting bows before my online class so since you're already here, please, 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 please make sure you follow the Capoeira Experience Podcast, baby. Check it out, check it out. S hit the subscribe button and hit the... I have a lot of videos right there. A lot, a lot of videos. Please make sure you check it out because there's a lot, a lot of cool videos there. A lot of information, man. A lot of Capoeiristas, including myself sharing some couple information this podcast i have some vlogs some very basic tutorials these tutorials are actually for my students i share these for my students so make sure you go there go check it out uh check it out as the the tutorials too if you want to and let me show you this really quick if you're an instructor if you're an instructor let me know in the comments below let me know if you are teaching online if you are teaching online okay it's not even really noisy so i got i have this little typo here that i got really long time ago that helps me helps me to 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 be to be here nice okay so it's kind of noisy i gotta get a better one um i just got the gopro few weeks ago so if you're an instructor please let me know in the comments below or even if you're a student do you like good audio for your capoeira class let me know because i found so the previous video i posted uh that i was teaching i was teaching in a dance studio they also have a few online classes there and I saw this super nice wireless microphone. Is this brand? Oh, oh, and, and this this is not sponsored, by the way. But I just want to show you, Movo. You should sponsor me because I'm promoting your brand. But you know, this this microphone is super nice, man. It's super super nice. It gets up to 200 feet. So I'm gonna connect as soon as possible to my computer so I can teach the online classes. It's just need a microphone, I hang this in my neck. I hang this in my shirt. I clip it to my shirt, has the little thing here, the microphone, bam. Little wire, has receiver, no, receiver, it has a transmitter. Transmitter or transmitter, you know what I mean. So, I connect this to this and this to the computer and voila I can talk like about as far as 200 feet away from the computer which is super nice and honestly I got one before this I got one stubborn stubborn I just wanted to try it, but thankfully they they returned the money I got one wireless uh, I connected to the computer, but I find out it was really annoying to connect to other devices. It was really, really annoying. So I got this, and I also got an extra, an extra cable, an auxiliary, auxiliary cable that plugs to the USB and plugs to the three millimeters audio. Okay, so this is going to be auxiliary. 
that connects to the, the, the receivers. And what I really like about this, this microphone is has this hard case and it can bring it anywhere. The microphone I got before, I don't remember, Brian. The microphone I got before, I don't know if you can hear that, but I don't know what noise is. So the microphone I got before uh, didn't have a case. So I was like, I don't have, I have to find a box, a little box, a little something for me to move, to move the package around because I don't really want to move this. I, I don't want to have the microphone because of course this comes separate. So I don't want to have this in one place, this in another place, and this in another place, it's all over the place. So I have now everything beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He helps me a lot, which I'm going to be using this in the uh, in the festival, the Capo Experience Festival this weekend, uh, because we're going to have mask on. You know what I mean? If you talk with a mask, it's so annoying to to have people try to listen to you or to understand you. So I'm gonna have this clip to the mask, <laughs> so people can talk and we can listen to any instructor, my master, master Mindinho, uh, through, through the microphone. So yeah, I'm gonna go start this. I'm gonna start this, uh, start fixing my beating balls. I'm super hungry, but I have to get this done um, because I need them to dry really, really well for Friday. Yes, for Friday. We might use a one beating ball for Friday, I don't know. But for Friday, and Saturday. So I'm gonna start fixing this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna fix the beating bus right now. So check it out.
Cool, 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 cool. And just finished the first beating bow. It took me about 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to do this, to just send paper, check this out. So all I did is just send paper, take that coat of uh, varnish on top, and I put the cardboard because it gets this little dust. And I just, just uh, on a side note, if you ever do this, don't use dark pants. <laughs> My pants are pretty messy. So, so yeah, this is what I have so far. I don't know if I have the right angle when I did the video. Um, I connected to my phone, but I just, uh, when I started, I found out that uh, my hands are all dusty too. So I find out that this dust start getting everywhere. So I crouched down and yeah, started doing it on the ground. But second video, I'm gonna find a better angle for, for you to check it out. So, uh, so yeah, I just have one left. I actually, I thought I had three, but I actually is two beating balls I gotta fix because the one of them, I already fixed it and, and yeah, I just gotta do that in three cabasas. So, I got a question for you. Have you ever seen somebody fixing beating bow? If you have, let me know in the comments below because I wanna know, I wanna see, I wanna see uh, other people doing it. How other people, other, other people fix their beating bows. I personally, I personally, just my personal uh, uh, preference, uh, I don't like painting my beading balls. The only thing I like to add to my beading balls is a coat of varnish and the dust. <coughs> ah, Jesus Christ. And, and yeah, if, if you know somebody, let me know in the comments below, tell me their names and see if I can find them and I can talk to them and see how they fix it. Or tell me how they fix it. How have you seen it? Tell me below because I wanna know, I wanna learn from other people. And and yeah, uh, I'm going to do the other beating bow, okay? Stay tuned. All right, so I just finished the second beating bow. They're both already done. I used the glove for nothing because it broke it halfway. But, <laughs> oh man, the, pull, the Little dust. I gotta shake all these pens. So I just gotta take all the dust off. I'm going to wash my hands. And uh, I think I think I, I still have some time for me to varnish the two beating balls. To varnish two of the beating balls. I'm not a hat person, but I like hats. Oh, does that make sense? Okay. Um, it's getting kind of not kind of dark, so it's going to be a little bit hard for me to do it right now. I think I still have time to do it, so because uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to get it done as soon as possible. Um, I just have to varnish. Honestly, it's super super quick. It's just a little la little layer to on each on each beading ball, and I'm just gonna let it dry. Okay, uh, so yeah. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna wash my hands, get the varnish, and start varnishing that, okay? Hey, what's up, Capoeiristas? Okay, I was about to, to finish the beating boss yesterday, but I ran out of time. So I'm just gonna, just gonna varnish this really quick. I'm going to do this video fast and forward. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward uh, because it's, uh, I'm just gonna varnish them. Uh, I have a varnish brush this you can find this at Lowe's uh this is kind of like a plastic brush you can see it's kind of like plastic it's not those like hairy thing it's just plastic um and 
I use these these to varnish all my beading balls, beading balls and cabasas. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna do one coat. Uh, honestly, for beading balls, because it's not furniture, for beading balls, you can do one coat. I personally do one coat. If you try to do a second coat, uh, you get the risk that it can crack. Okay, because once you bend it, because this is not flexible, it's not made to be bended uh, or be flexible. Uh, once you bend the beading ball and put it all together and string the beading ball, the the painting or the coat, it can crack. It's gonna look ugly. So I personally like only one coat and I'm going to be adding this bam, to the beading balls. I have them ready. Uh, like I said before, <laughs> I tried to do it, to do them yesterday, to Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, yesterday Monday, I had my online class and I ran out of time. So I, had, I was super hungry, super, super hungry. So uh, I did, I tried to do them before my online class and I had to eat and get my class, my class ready. So I had to, you know, to, to bounce for the video. But here's the video for me finishing my beating bows and just check them out, okay? Check this out. So I'm done with the beading balls and uh, check this out really quick. I finished with the varnish. Unfortunately, my camera died <laughs> as, I, as I was recording this, but check this out. Now, if you remember, now they look shiny and look really, really nice. They have now a very, very, very nice coat. Not sure if you can see with the light how shiny they are now. So, uh, so you can see the coat, the nice, nice coat. You can see, you can barely see a reflection right here of the light. <clears throat> so check this out. Now you can see uh this is natural color this is honestly how i like to do it is this guy right here and just a very short and light coat that will help to keep it shine and preserve the cabasa longer if we if down the road if you want to change something or add on a coat. I recommend same paper, any coat that uh, any cabasa has, and, uh, and just yeah, just put a fresh coat. <clears throat> Try to avoid to put a coat on top of a coat because it's, it's gonna start looking like kind of like funky. I personally, honestly, I personally, I just kick, I just hit it. Oh, let me see. Oh, no, it's good. I personally, I like more uh, the cabasas natural looking. That will help the cabasa to to have kind of that like natural color. You know what I mean? So that will help the cabasa. I, I'm moving. Is a chair? Ah. So that will help the the cabasa to to stay stay in the natural color which is really cool gives i don't know i just like that like natural wood looking of the cabasa sorry my face is probably dirty i just had dinner but 
Yeah. Betty Bob Sardon, Cabasa Sardon, Kashishi Sardon, Arami Sardon. Tomorrow, when this is dry, uh, I'm gonna put everything together and uh, I might do a sound test and see which Cabasa will help which Betty Bob and we'll put everything together. Thank you so much. Very excited for this weekend. We have about three days. Three days? If we count Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Three days. For for three days from today. It's going to be the Bachisado. Well, the open Hada and then the Bachisado for Saturday. Super, super, super happy. Super happy. Hopefully, you can make it next year. Hopefully, you can make it soon. And if you can make it for this year, awesome. If not, next year, the Capo Experience Festival. Make sure you register. Make sure you follow the Experience Podcast and listen to the podcast, okay? I'm going to be talking about this. And I'm going to be vlogging during the event. I don't think I'm going to save the battery of this for for, for recording the, the event. All right, so thank you so much. Peace. Talk to you soon.